Conrad Murray looked out for himself and himself alone. He wanted this employment. He didn't want to lose the employment, so he had to say yes. But that's not what a doctor does. That is not what a doctor does. That is antithetical to the legal obligation, the ethical obligation, the legal duty of a doctor. Conrad Murray's actions directly caused the death of Michael Jackson. But the people do not need to prove that. All that needs to be proven to find criminal liability on the part of Dr. Murray is that he was a substantial factor in the death. And as it relates to any intervening causation, as I already explained, it was not extraordinary, it was not unforeseeable. Even if you accept the defense version of the facts, even if one of you accepts that version of the facts, Conrad Murray is criminally guilty of involuntary manslaughter because he was a substantial factor and any consequences that rose out of that were entirely ordinary and foreseeable. Defense counsel will have an opportunity to speak and then I will have an opportunity to speak again briefly following that. I want to thank you for your attention. I want to assure you, as I do now and as I will at the close of my closing argument, I will be asking that you return with the verdict of guilty as to the sole count of involuntary manslaughter because Conrad Murray caused the death of Michael Jackson. Conrad Murray abandoned Michael Jackson. Conrad Murray gave him propofol and abandoned him. Conrad, Conrad Murray is criminally liable. Justice demands a guilty verdict. Thank you. Mr. Walgren, thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, we are going to take the noon break a little bit late today, so thank you once again for your patience. We'll be in recess until 1.40 p.m., so court will uh, reconvene at 1.40 this afternoon. Thank you. Remember all the admonishments, please.